Okay, if you guys haven't picked up on the theme already, uh, LinkedIn, the way I would say to really try to take advantage of it is uh, one, to fill out your profile as much as you can, and that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit more today. Uh, and then the other side is if you can, try to post content to get more reach out there. Um, the end of the day, like we all have a reason of being on here. It's either to drive stuff around like a product, a personal brand, who you are, um, you know, forming a community, finding a new job, earning more money. Like there's, there's a reason that we're all here doing these things. Um, so whatever it is, try to do those two things. And, and part of like editing your profile and making it stand out amongst the rest of the group or people on here is the competition. I would say right now where people are less engaged, there's not as much content being produced. It's like, you can kind of get in at a very low risk. Like you don't really have to do much. Like you just got to fill out like your profile as much as you can. And one of those things uh, includes like the things you can edit, such as our profile picture, which I've talked about in the past, um, as well as this header or banner or whatever you want to call it up here. Uh, a lot of people will just kind of throw something kind of random on there that doesn't really fit what they do, or they will, um, you know, just use the one that LinkedIn gives you for free. And I would just say kind of on top of it, when someone goes here to stand out and be remembered, because the idea behind this, like taking a step back, right, is when someone goes to your profile, that's great. You got them there. But like once they're there, you got to keep hooking them on everything that you have on your profile, whether that's your featured, whether that's about me. Um, and in this case, whether that is like just your profile picture and your header, if that's all they're going to look at, I want it to be something that is um, worthwhile, that's uh, different from the rest and it stands out and it kind of summarizes of what I do. Um, so you can edit this banner and you might be thinking, okay, great, but like, how do I do that? I don't have Photoshop or whatever it is, right? Well, uh, one that I've utilized is this thing right here. It's called Pixlr. It's basically a free kind of online version of Photoshop. You can go in here, you can create uh, the picture that you want to do. Literally just Google the size of your header. Um, and then they have a bunch of different things in here, right? Like you can crop it, you can rearrange things, you can add text, you can cut the background, which is really cool. Um, you can change all the saturation and brightness and contrast. Um, so they have all these different effects on here that you can actually do. Uh, to kind of make a cool standout header. And it's not like mine's like super awesome or anything like that, I would say, but it is different. It is uh, something I think stands out a little more. It's a little more cleaner. Um, and it's just another way, like I said, to kind of summarize what it is that I'm doing up here, um, as well as kind of let them know like what industry I'm in. I have a cloud because I'm in Salesforce. I have like what it is that I do down here, um, as well as just like uh, what I thought was a funny joke. Uh, in the header as well to kind of be remembered by. Um, so that's kind of what I've done here. And that is an easy way for you to be able to edit this and stand out in um, a fairly low risk, easy way. Like there's there's nothing that you're investing here. It's all free. It's just your time to put into it. So hopefully that's a helpful tip.